Hey Realtors, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you an automated AI social media system that we built for a client that allows them to automate the posting of all their pictures and videos, and even things like sharing articles and posting market updates. The example that I'm showing you is connected to Facebook, Instagram, X slash Twitter, YouTube, LinkedIn, and even a website blog. We've set it up so that all the client has to do is drop in their videos and pictures into a database and give just a quick short description of what the video or the picture is. And then the AI will write the whole post caption, do the hashtags, do the actual posting to the social media pages. And then we also added on some additional automations like automatically sharing trending articles and news reports that relate to the local real estate market, and even turn some of those articles into blog posts to be posted to their website. Then lastly, all of this is built in with a human touch element so that every time a new post or a new caption has been generated, it texts the client and they can then go check the post and approve it before it actually gets posted to their pages. This allows them to double check and verify anything that the AI is creating and also tell it to rewrite the post if they want something changed. With a content system like this, you can be posting multiple times every single day across all of your platforms and it's basically all fully automated running on autopilot. So it's a super, super powerful system. Now we didn't do it with this particular client, but I will say that you can also set it up so that it automatically triggers when you list a new property. Basically, as soon as realtor.ca or realtor.com sees that you have a new property listed, it's going to trigger the automation to pull in that listing description, the listing photos and create a carousel post out of it and then post that to all your pages. So without further ado, let's hop into my computer and I'm going to show you how this system works. All right. So like I said, there's a couple different parts that sort of connect together. Um, to make this whole system work. So the first one is what I'm gonna be showing you right now. This is sort of the main body of the entire automation. Essentially how it works is we have our database, which is built inside of Airtable. This is where the content, the post titles, all of that kind of stuff is held inside of, and basically what triggers the entire automation to work. So that database looks like this. And basically what's happening here is there's multiple different kinds of posts that we can make. So we have short videos, pictures, articles, long videos, and text. Text being like status updates, tweets, things like that. So we can change these and you know set whatever kind of post it is, and that's gonna tell the Make Automation how to handle it. So you can see we have some articles and some text here, and that's because these are automatically generated for us. But what we can also do is we can add in a video or a picture. So I'm just gonna show you here, I'm gonna grab a, a quick picture off of Google. I'm gonna download that and we're just gonna pretend that this is listing that I have. All I would do is I would go into my Airtable database. I would click on post. This is where I drop the actual file in, put in the picture, upload it. And then it's gonna add the picture in there. And then I can just do a, a quick description. <laughs> So I just put a quick description of my new listing, three bedrooms, two bathrooms in the Laurel neighborhood. Don't worry about spelling errors. Uh, the AI can overcome that. But this little description just basically tells the AI, you know, what it's looking at, what the context of the picture is. If we didn't add that, then the AI would just think that it's looking at a random house. It wouldn't know obviously any details about the house. So anything that we can put in there is gonna help the AI actually create a really good caption for the photo. Next thing I'm gonna do, I'll just change this to a picture. And then when I'm ready, I would just change this column from no to yes. So once I switch it over to yes, what's gonna happen is in the make automation, this module here triggers when one of those columns changes to yes. Okay, so that column is what triggers the whole thing. So when I'm ready to post, I change that over to yes. And then what happens is it's gonna get the URL of the picture inside of Airtable so that it can basically download it inside of make.com. And then it splits off into all these different arms here. So you'll notice there's one, two, three main arms. And those are if it's a video, a picture, or a text-based post. So for example, if it's a picture, like in this scenario, it's gonna detect that, that it's a picture it's gonna send it down here and then it's gonna post it onto all of my accounts. But first it's gonna go through an AI module that is gonna write a post description specifically tailored to that platform. So it's gonna write a Facebook description and then post it to Facebook. It's gonna write an Instagram caption and then post it to Instagram. It's gonna write a LinkedIn description and a LinkedIn title and then post that to uh, LinkedIn. It's gonna write a description for X and then post it to X. And then it's just gonna update the Airtable database, 
right here where it says posted, it's going to automatically update that and just change it to yes so that I know on my end that that has been posted. So anytime that I see yes on this column, I know that that post has already been posted to my social media. If it was a video, it would go up here to video and then it would also decide is it a long form video or a short form video because that's going to determine what platforms we're posting on, right? If it's a long form video, we're going to be posting it to YouTube. We're not going to be posting it to like an Instagram because it'd be too long for Instagram. So long form videos, we post to Facebook, YouTube, and LinkedIn, and then we update the Airtable again. Short form videos, we're posting to Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn, and X as well. And then we're updating it in Airtable. And then if it's a text-based post, I should actually have one more splitter here that would split if it's you know just a short post or if it's a long post, because if it's a long bait, because if it's a long post, then we're gonna be posting it to LinkedIn and on your website as a blog post. But if it's a short one, then it might just be like a Facebook status update or a tweet. So you can get super, super technical with this and split down multiple different arms, depending on what your content normally looks like, what type of content you post and what platforms you're posting to. But you can see with a system like this, all that you had to do was take your picture or your video and just drop it into here with a quick description. That's it. And Airtable is really, really good on mobile as well. It just looks almost like its own app when you open it up in mobile. So it's super easy to use. It's not like a Google Sheets or something where you have to pinch and zoom and do all this stuff. Um, Airtable is super easy to use in mobile, which is why we have the AI send a text message to the client when they have a new article or a new text post created because they can so easily just check it on their phone while they're on the go. Now I'll show you the second part here, which is the part that takes trending articles and sort of rewrites them or rewords them and then shares them. So here's what that looks like. So we set up an RSS feed that basically takes news articles and trending topics and blog posts from different websites and news stations and brings it all into one place so that we can decide which ones we wanna post about and which ones we don't. So when those new posts come in, AI is gonna create a new description for that post. So you can think of this like your commentary on the post, right? If you were to post it to Facebook, you're gonna share that article and you're gonna say your two cents or your commentary about that post. So the AI is gonna do that for you. Then it's gonna create a title for that post. Um, this is more so for LinkedIn when you have a separate title and a description. And then it's also gonna generate a thumbnail image. So the AI is actually going to read through the article and you know look at what it's about and then it's gonna create a captivating image based off of that. Then it's gonna send all of that to Airtable and then send the client a text message saying, hey, you have a new article to approve with the link to it so they can just click on it, read whatever description or title the AI wrote for it, and they can just switch it to yes if they approve and they want to post that. Now I'll show you what that looks like inside of Airtable. So you can see here's a three that have already been posted to the client's social media page. Uh, two articles and a text post. So this article is titled, Unlock Your Potential Pathway to Becoming a Six-Figure Real Estate Agent. And then the description that it has is, breaking through the real estate industry, learn the latest strategies for staying relevant as a new agent. So it gives a whole description about it. And then this is the image that it generated for that post. So it'd be like the thumbnail image that'll kind of you know stop you from scrolling while you're scrolling through the page. Super, super cool. So you can see it does about three or four of them a day. I think three of them a day. Um, so you could be just from this alone, you could be posting you know, three times a day to your platforms and you can increase this. We only have it set to three a day because um, the client's gonna be integrating other posts as well and they don't wanna spam their feed, but you could set this to five or 10 a day if you really wanted to. Now the text-based post is like a little status update. So for this one, it is Success in real estate isn't just about listings. It's about learning how, it's about learning from those who have walked the path before you. So it does this whole um, little kind of status thing with some hashtags in there. So that's super cool. And this is obviously tailored to the client's specific business, to their brand, to their market or niche that they're working into. So that's the second part of this automation that does the articles. There's actually, I can show you three or four parts, even though I said two parts in the beginning. But uh, this is what the automation looks like for text-based posts. This is super simple, it's just two of them. So it's just an AI that creates a text-based post that we prompted specifically, again, for their niche, for their specific market. And then it just adds it to Airtable as well. We didn't add on a text message module here 
just because the, the timing that we have these set up is basically the same as the article. So when the client goes in to approve the article, they'll see that there's a text post that they can approve as well. And then this just shows you an example of what it looks like when you have it connected to like a new listing. So we actually had this one connected. This was for a past client where they had an AI agent that they would talk to and they would say, hey, I just listed a property at this address and they would just paste a link to their listing. And then the AI would then take all the images out of that listing, write a post description based off of uh, whatever information was on that listing and then post it to all their social medias. So now every time that you have any listing, you just paste the link to the AI. Or in the case of our Airtable automation, we would just swap out this webhook for an Airtable trigger. And then you would just paste the link into this database as well so that anytime you have a new listing, the AI is gonna visit the link that you give it. It's gonna analyze all the listing description and take the pictures and everything. And then it's gonna make a nice carousel post for your social media pages. So with a system like this, now you get automated articles, automated texts and status updates. Your posts and videos are automatically posted for you with post descriptions and your listings are automatically posted for you as well as like carousel posts or however you wanted to set it up. Super, super powerful, saves you a ton of time and also just make sure that you're staying top of mind with all of your followers because you're posting three, four, five times every single day. People are constantly seeing your name pop up on their feed and you know tips and tricks and articles about real estate so you're always going to stay top of mind when somebody has real estate needs this is just a great way to sort of nurture your sphere of influence so that's it guys hope this video helped you understand how you can use ai to automate your social media posting and allow you to post five or even ten times more than you're already posting because the ai is going to do all the hard work for you like writing the listing descriptions and doing the actual posting part if you're looking to have a system like this built for you in your business click the link below i have my calendar link there where you can hop on a call with me or one of my team members and we can talk about all the different things that can be automated in your business including a social media system like this but anyways thanks so much for watching i really appreciate your support if you're not subscribed already click that subscribe button and if you are then i really appreciate it and i will have lots more videos coming out soon thanks again and we'll catch you in the next video